Is the Iowa City area real estate market as crazy and intense as the rest of the nation? Well, that's what we're talking about today. Hi there, my name is Emily Farber and I'm a realtor with Leopard Crager Realtors in Iowa City. I make YouTube videos all about real estate and the greater Iowa City area designed to help people just like you make smart decisions when it comes to buying, selling, and relocating in this area around Iowa City. I would love to chat with you about your real estate plans. You'll find all my contact information as well as a whole host of free downloadable real estate guides that I offer my viewers. You can find all that information and the links down below in the description box of this video. If you're watching this on your phone, all you need to do is tap the title of this video and that description box will open right up for you. The real estate market has been getting a ton of press time lately because in many markets, things are figuratively on fire with very limited inventory, fierce competition between buyers and rapidly rising home prices. The one bit of good news in all of this is that mortgage rates have remained very low. So that is enabling buyers to afford more house than they might otherwise be able to enjoy. Nationwide, the National Association of Realtors reports that the median sales price of a home in the USA as of March 2021, the most recent national numbers available at the time I recorded this video, was $329,100, a historic high and a increase of 17.2% from the year before. And that is making buyers crazy. So what do the numbers look like in the greater Iowa City area? I have good news and bad news. Compared to some other markets in the US where I know real estate agents and we talk on a regular basis, places like Austin, Minneapolis, Boise, and Denver, I hear stories about homes selling for like $100,000 over list price with 20, 40, 60 offers, pure insanity. Our local real estate market is not that crazy in comparison. When measured on our own Iowa scale, the greater Iowa City area spring 2021 real estate market has been much more aggressive than what we would call normal. Many properties are selling for over list price with multiple offers, but it's more like two to 10 offers and a couple of thousand up to maybe 20,000 over list price. To put some hard numbers on things, the median sold home price for Iowa City from January 1st to here in mid-May was $245,000. However, if you break that out amongst the different home types, the average single family home in Iowa City was $271,000, zero lots were $195,000, and condos were $192,250. These numbers are not consistent across our various communities that make up the Iowa City metro area. So I'm putting them into a chart to help everyone get a handle on them. Coraville's median sold price is sitting right at 250,000. But when you break out the different home types, you can see that single family homes are selling in the range of 356,000, zero lots for 185,000 and condos for 204,000. Coraville currently has several large new construction condo developments that are driving the price of that metric upwards right now. North Liberty and Tiffin, which are two of the fastest growing areas and as such have a lot of new construction sales, have a median home sold price of $280,000. But separated out, single family homes in this area are selling for a median of $379,900 zero lots for $256,250 and condos for $183,000. The average increase in property value from 2020 to 2021 var varies when you dial down into specific home type and location. But a couple of numbers that I thought were especially interesting 
were an increase of 10.5% in North Liberty and Tiffin for single family homes and an increase of almost 25% for single family homes in Coralville. I think the reason for the jump in these two locations is people's interest in living in an area that is districted to the newest high school in the Iowa City Community School District, Liberty High School. Parts of Coralville and North Liberty fall into this school area. I often talk to people who are relocating to the area and they seem to have the impression that real estate is gonna be the most expensive in Iowa City proper. And that is simply not the case. Because Iowa City is the largest community in the metro, it is also home to the widest variety in home ages, styles, and price points. Gone are the days when North Liberty and Tiffin were less expensive locations to buy a home. Anecdotally speaking, I am seeing the most traction with clients getting into contracts when the offer price is at list price or higher. Because of the number of active buyers in the market and the low inventory, this is not the time to think you're gonna get a deal. But you also don't need to count yourself out if you're not able to go way over asking price. But you do need to be smart about your approach. I made a video called Bidding Wars, 10 Tips for Buying in a Seller's Market, all about some techniques to help you be successful in this strong seller's market. I'll leave a card for it up above. So how far over list price do you have to go to get the deal? Well, it depends on your competition and the other terms that you're willing to offer. I would say it's not unusual for a property to sell for a couple of thousand dollars over list price locally, but I've seen them go for 10 to 20,000 over. Every day I watch our MLSs sold list to keep my finger on the pulse of the market. As you can see, as I scroll through here, the numbers in green indicate recently sold properties that went for over list price. The black numbers indicate if it sold for full price and the red numbers show that it sold for a reduction of the list price. According to the National Association of Home Builders, 45% of home buyers nationally report being outbid on a home in quarter one of 2021, as compared to just 23% of buyers in Q1 of 2020. As a result, many buyers are turning to new construction as an option where they hope they won't face that same kind of buyer to buyer competition. It's not all roses in new construction neighborhoods though. Like the rest of the nation, local builders are experiencing steep price increases for the raw materials used to build homes. And as a result, prices of new construction homes have literally taken a huge jump this season. Locally, when I dive into new construction sold price numbers for where we are right now in 2021, I'm seeing about a 11.5 to a 15% increase in new home sold prices and as compared to the same time last year, which is about on par for what you would expect because builders are reporting a 340% increase in lumber costs from last year. This comes out to an increase of almost 36,000 per new family home. And we're not even talking about price increases for just about every other component that goes into a new house. In order to get a new construction single family home in the greater Iowa City area, the entry point is around $375,000 for a single family home without a ton of bells or whistles. It used to be that local builders had a fair number of spec homes on the market, for buyers who wanted to buy new construction, but they didn't really want to go through the process of a custom build. Now it's hard to even find spec homes for buyers to look at. Often homes are only in the framing stages when they're put on the market and there aren't any finished or even semi-finished examples to show the buyer what that builder's finished product looks like. Say a year ago, I would have been able to find the same floor plan by the same builder just one or two streets over to show my prospective buyers. But now things are selling so fast that that's not even possible in many cases. So what's a buyer to do? For my relocation clients about to make a move here and feeling nervous about jumping into what 
might feel like shark infested waters, just know that buying a home in the greater Iowa City area is not out of reach. I do feel like our inventory shortage is beginning to ease up just a little and it, it may only be my personal feeling at this point, but from an MLS junkie like me who looks at the local MLS about 100 times a day, it seems like there are more houses starting to pop up daily than we've been seeing for the past several months. First off, I think it is so important for buyers to enter the market with realistic expectations. You need to be prepared to not get the first house you fall in love with. Brace yourself for a bit of a roller coaster. Know that certain loan products like VA loans and FHA loans are going to be more challenging to win with, but not impossible. Be willing to offer list price or more to get the house that you really, really want. Be very serious about your offer terms. For instance, don't ask for closing cost assistance unless you absolutely must. Keep your deadlines as tight as you possibly can. Don't go cheap on your earnest money. Use local lenders. Be prepared to cover an appraisal shortfall if you think you possibly can. And really think creatively about how you can make your offer as appealing and easy to accept for the seller as possible. I can't stress this one enough. Yes, money often matters the most to sellers, but it's the terms that can make or break the deal. And this is where a talented realtor can really help you. After all, it doesn't take a genius to throw a lot of money at the wall until it sticks. But your realtor's skills come out to shine when he or she helps you get up to bat and fine tune the terms of your offer to make it the winning offer. Let me know your thoughts about 2021 real estate down below in the comments section. Have you bought a home? Have you given up? Are you still out there trying? Hey, it's been fun and I'll catch you later.